Um, the conflicts that exist within churches, there are in actual fact structures in place to try and deal with those. That we are aware that, uh, that such conflicts exist, but they are not leading to, say, the humanitarian situation in Gaza or the uh, situation we have seen of um, people being cut off from their schools by the, uh, uh, the wall that has been built. So that it is basically the uh, situation which is coming out of the solutions which are being uh, used at the moment to solve that, uh, that first conflict. That's not to deny that there are some conflicts and problems within the uh, Christian community as well. No, I don't mean within the Christian community. You have uh, problems coming from, from the conflict itself, but you have also problems between the church and Israel, or you may see even, say even the Israeli society or the Palestinian Palestinian society. Well, there is the conflict, and the church and the Christians are not uh, stranger foreigners. We are part of the population, and uh, we we have to face the consequences, the, the same consequences, as well as the others. We cannot support the Christians. They are not living in a ghetto. We are a part of this population, and we have the same aspiration, the same suffering, and, and the same I, hope. No, maybe because those problems aren't myself. peculiar to this region of the world. Um, I have exactly those same sort of problems in England, but we are trying to deal with them. We are active within the International uh, Conference of Christians and Jews, for instance. I um, recently in December met with the region of my diocese some of the leading imams from uh, different mosques. Yes, there are problems, but they are not peculiar to this region. But do you deal with them in this region? It, that is a question for the Patriarch, that is not for, for me to answer. I am a visiting bishop here, a visiting brother bishop. I do my best, perhaps my best is not very good, but I do my best to deal with them in England, and it is quite enough. <laughs> uh, but I honestly believe that the only security worth having is the security where people trust one another. We don't know one another, but we will probably could meet and talk. Why? Because I trust that you will tell the truth about me. You trust that I'm not going to hit you over the head. Um, we therefore talk to one another. One of the most depressing signs I know in the Holy Land is as you go into Bethlehem, and there is one of those yellow signs, with, and it says Israeli citizens may not pass beyond this point. That is horrible, because it is stopping people trusting one another. And that's the only security that is worth having.